What's up, everyone, and welcome back to our Clone Wars Chronological Rewatch. Today we're talking about the episode Front Runners. It is the second episode in the Onderon arc. So in this one, the Jedi have basically trained all of them, and they're, they're pulling off successful attacks within the city, but they're kind of worrying the actual citizens. And Obi-Wan and Anakin are like, you gotta make sure they know you're on their side. So they decide to hit a big target, like a power grid, and they do that, and they went over the the will of the people. Yeah, and uh, this is the episode where Anakin and Obi-Wan leave, but Ahsoka kind of stays behind, mm -hmm. uh, and she's like a little bit wary at first of, of like how to help them or like when she should intervene, intervene. Um, and yeah, she's just kind of there to... Make sure that they're following the right path. I meant to talk about Ahsoka a little bit in the last episode because we were talking about fear and there's like this ongoing fear of hers that she might be losing Lux because mm. uh, they, they kind of they crush him. But Lux is... <laughs> that's just how that came out of my mouth. They kind of crush him. Uh, but Lux has also got a thing with Stila and Ahsoka doesn't like that. I love that Anakin recognizes what's happening. And he's like, hey, are you okay? I understand where you're, what you're going through. And she's like, really? And he's like, come on. <laughs> uh, but he's like, remember that you have to put your feelings aside. Purpose goes first. And she does. She she successfully does that. She sets her fears aside. and Big big words for Anakin. Right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> practice what I preach. Or what is it? Do, do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for real. So, yeah, they are able to pull off this attack with Ahsoka kind of acting as guidance. That's her whole thing, trying to find the balance of technically the Jedi aren't supposed to be there, uh, which is one of the... They're bending rules. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They are. But she's, she's, I think she sees that what they're doing is indeed sparking hope in the people of Onderon, and like they're starting to get results. Yes. I mean, I think that... The Jedi think this is a good thing. I think it's a good thing. I'm honestly a little bit like, why were they debating this? But I see where they're coming from, where their early attacks are scaring people. And they're like, we, yeah, we got to make sure that the people know we're trying to affect change. And uh, the theme of this episode is to seek something is to believe in its possibility. And I think that that's more about the people of Onderon here, because I don't think they thought that change that freedom from the separatists was possible yeah. and that's why they were afraid yeah they were just kind of oppressed and just accepting their their new leadership yeah but then when we see that they attack they successfully attack this power grid and take it down the people of onderon or, or of isis the city are like oh we can do this and then they start rioting <laughs> and they start blowing up mtts and taking on battle droids themselves so yeah, they do spark hope, and they, they make the people believe that, yeah, this change is possible. Right. This is also kind of the episode where we see Stila kind of taking charge of the group. We get a, like, a little bit of like weird vibes when that happens from Saw. This is also the episode, I think, where we find out that they're brother and sister. Right. Like, they take a little moment to make that clear. Because I guess they were thinking, oh, maybe people might think that they're into each other, but not was, so fast. Was, they're brother and sister. That was an interesting moment just because I, you know, we know that. And I don't remember it being kind of this reveal where she's like, he's my brother. And everyone's like, what? <laughs> but, so I, I was like, wait, was this a secret? I don't recall that. Yeah. But yeah, I I like Stila a lot. Um, I, I don't want to get ahead of things but i yeah, people probably know i just i i see her as a leader in this arc and i'm like man i wonder how things would have been differently with saw if she had survived mm -hmm. but, yeah because we see time and time again in this arc her kind of like really reeling him back from being too extreme yeah <laughs> so and obviously we know he goes in the opposite direction by the time of rogue one but yeah, so I, I like Stila a lot. And I, I just, I love that we're at this point 
where just all the episodes are good. Fun times. So we'll, we'll keep talking about this arc next time. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch. And consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.